So anyway, I'm going to read this to you. I've been training on this, uh, looking at the mirror uh, and <laughs> pretending to be on stage. So here we go. Now, casual observation, deep impression expressed in and with a certain abstract creative license and so on. The botanical science I mostly ditched. In the visual, it is an alphabetic typographic adventure more than anything else. Much and many here presented are quite edible, healthy, and worthy of your kitchen. The aster and the anemone were to compete with my choice, the arugula, a vegetable to some, a herb to others. So on to the bee, bee, even as it is quite properly depicts charming baby's breath, I exempted it, it is not for sale. Sorry, Buddhists, newly belected bumptilors, carry on past OP few to the R. Of so many a variety, added my several own. Then all the way to, yes, the Z. The many American orchids and my Scottish in-laws. If your mother-in-law's first day happens to be in May and saw her name, what better choice than the marigold? At times, the creative process begins in that semi-dreamscape just when I am about to wake up at 7 a.m. Alarm spoils it all, but it challenges the now wide awake artist to proceed. This is how the idea of the 26 came about. All the flowers dancing on stage at the Met years ago when in, when in New York City. These are uh, deep memories. Flitting with you, my audience to be, gave me energy and great pleasure to keep the brush moving. Thank you. And if anybody have any questions, would you take a question or two from the crowd? A yes or no would be. Arnie? Uh, will you answer some questions if anyone has any? Oh yeah, oh yeah, about the, the wither, withering possibilities of uh, growing nature. <laughs> Does anyone have any uh, questions uh, for? Uh, when have you started the painting called the uh, Twenty Six Letters of Alphabet? I started. It's probably to make it more magical. Maybe twenty six months ago, but it was <laughs> no, no, it was better than that. It, uh, I think, it took me about ten months with interferences of uh, the weatherman and whatever. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, one uh, thing to mention is that she kept me going because I had her right next to my bathroom hanging at home. And uh, every time I came out of the bathroom, <laughs> she was there to say, come on, Arnie, it's 26. <laughs> you're, you're, you're only 13. <laughs> Uh, Arnie, do you have a favorite letter of the 26 that you did? And if so, why? The favorite letter, in a way, is, it's a strange one. And you have to uh, consider the fact that I'm a topographer, also by trade, with all my other trades. And uh, topography is a fascinating thing. And uh, I hate to be sentimental about my Estonian thing, but it is the name of Kalebiborg, and it is the K. It has its own uh, power. It is sitting there, standing, or being solidly on the ground in all that greenery. And uh, yeah, it's a letter that we don't have in Estonia. Uh, sorry, it's the opposite. It's the one that takes care of the sea in Estonia. K. And in Finland, which is related to the Estonian language or vice versa, and they use so many Ks. Uh, when, when I use one K, the Finn will use three or four of them. <laughs> so the K is all the, all the it's a ka 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 <laughs> And when our Estonian kids say ka 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 ka, that means 
<laughs> so do you grow up with the case? Uh, follow up question which which of the plants do you like best? The plants? Yeah. Uh, I would uh, I, I, I let myself down because I didn't get the, the beauty of that color. I didn't quite get it. And that's the lavender. Oh. Because I wanted it to smell and taste like lavender. Yeah. And it will never be. Even, it it even, comes close. It comes close. Even if uh, Michelangelo would have given it a try, he wouldn't have done much better. <laughs> <laughs> Last call for questions. Hey, Arnie, uh, did you produce them in alphabetical order? No. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to let you in on a secret that uh, perhaps nobody has discovered yet, but there is a strange thing happening on the last letter of the alphabet. So have a uh, look and absorb it and you will find that there is a connection there that no other letter has. What do you see? Numbers. You see what? Numbers. You see the number, yes. Mm -hmm. And there is something else there. There is a touch of this X, right? Yes, the xylem. Mm -hmm. yeah. See? Now, if you ask me, how did that get into the Z? Being the last number, why is that X pattern, that funny pattern that is on trees mm -hmm. under the bark, how did that get into the Z? And why is the 26 hidden there? trying to take the attention away from the X in the Z. So, and you know, there is a simple explanation. I was working on the Z, but thinking X. <laughs> so, so my thing was then, do I do away with this canvas, get another canvas, ask you need to, Get me another canvas for Timbuktu or wherever she gets them from <laughs> by the internet. But I thought I'll hide and hide the exi existence of the X in the Z. So it's hidden there. Did something happen okay. with the X uh, when you painted it? Because there's something when I saw it that stood out in the foreground of the X. Was there something no. peculiar with that, or did I just oh no. basically whatever you saw there is. Uh, probably accidental, uh, unless I have to go and double check and see uh, your reference whether it rings a bell. Because you know, Dr. Alzheimer is vicious, <laughs> he's a collector. <laughs> okay, well, uh, thanks, Ernie, for uh, taking the questions. My pleasure. Thanks for your uh, explanations and. We wish you all the best and continue success in painting. Thank you all for being here and, uh, and enjoying my, <laughs> my whatever. <laughs> you're, you're working on another show, are you not? Uh, yes, I am. When and where and what's the topic? Well, if I can uh, hang in there and because there's no date for it, so I'm not under pressure. I might uh, misconstrue my own information here, but uh, I'm working on a mural, which is commissioned by, uh, uh, never mind names, but to be executed on a wall in Oldham Lake. And uh, that is right now, uh, right there in my studio on the easel and I actually now have all the panels uh, ready for applying paints etc etc so uh, hopefully uh, we will have that mural on the wall it will be electronically 
the executives, the blow up. I'm working half the size, and then and this will be displayed or bold and laid. Fantastic. That's what will keep me busy for a while. That's a good way to spend the winter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So um, that concludes the formalities. So please uh, socialize, enjoy yourself, um, have a look around, have a chat with Arnie, and uh, any other friends and people you haven't met yet, uh, say hello, introduce yourselves, and enjoy the rest of the evening.